talk about what you missed and just give you a quick summary, okay? And so you guys know one of the main textbooks that we use is The Making of the Bahamas. And so I want you guys to think of five, five qualities that an effective leader could be, such as organized, inspirational, good communication, vision, and integrity. And you can also have compassionate, you can also have loyalty, respectful. All of these things make a good leader. And so as we get into today's lesson, Crown Colony Government, we're gonna focus on what it takes to be an effective leader. Okay, and so within our lesson, you're going to define the term Crown Colony. And as I would have told them, that is when the crown, the king and queen would take over and they would then be in charge. So the government, we know the government are those who inform, who make the rules and laws of our country. And then the second thing that we would talk about was we would explain why Crown Colony was established. And we know that from last class, we talked about the failure of proprietary government and how they did not check for the Bahamas. They didn't care for us. And then we're going to outline the structure and function of the Crown Colony government. We're going to talk about what they did, how they actually helped with the pirate problems, how it actually helped to make the Bahamas better. And then lastly, identify on a map countries that were part of the British crown. We're going to talk about the various countries that Great Britain owned and still own in present day. And so guys, um, all of these things are what you would have missed in class. And so I just hope that you follow what I just said and you catch up.